Harriet Tubman, who made 13 trips to the South to personally free over 70 people. These brave souls gave biblical names to landmarks along the way. The Ohio River was known as the River Jordan, and Canada was the promised land. Yep, tens of thousands of slaves settled in the Great White North. Persecution of the Pilgrims and Puritans when James I became king of England, he tried to enforce obedience to one church, with all its forms and ceremonies and beliefs. Other kings had done this before him, said he. I will have one doctrine, one discipline, one religion, in substance and ceremony. This was very unwise in the king, for men should be allowed to worship God in their own way, and not in any king's way. But James cared little for the wishes of his people. I will govern according to the common will, and not according to the common will, was his haughty speech. Well, let's go back to the word Wales, or Walu, or of earth, or flesh by lash. Hmm. Apparently in Sanskrit, womb, or Lithuanian valets, twin. And remember, Hebrew is from the line of Afro-Asiatic languages, as is Semitic. Translating. So I said, hang on a minute. St. James is Yakub, is Jacob, as in Jacob and Esau, as in stole the birthright. Apostle from Galilee. Origins of the name James, Seamus, Irish, Scottish, Latin. Related name, Hamish, Hamish. New Testament Greek, Ikevos, Hebrew, Yaakov, i.e. Jacob, meaning one who supplants, or more literally, one who grabs at the heel. Jacob. A key figure in the Bible is known as one of the founding patriarchs of the nation of Israel. Jacob is the grandson of Abraham and Sarah and the son of Isaac and Rebekah. And so if James is Jacob, the James of the Bible, the servant of God and the Lord Jesus Christ to the twelve tribes scattered among the nations, then for common sense sake, who would his father Lord Donnelly B. Also known as James, son of Zebedee. Wait till you see what I'm about to say to you. Saint James the Great, Saint James the Greater, Saint James the Elder, or Saint Jacob. Let me let that resonate for a minute. I just, how do you get from James to Jacob? Okay, good question. In Aramaic or Arabic, he or Hebrew, his name is the da 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 ba Yakub. Now I said to Eden, you know when the, you already know, but you have to ask mm. a couple of times and check again. I said, eh? his name's Yakub. But we all know the story about Yakub, mm. and Yakub wanted to, to create a new race. The Muslims say he wanted to create, that's, that's one of the stories, or black Muslims if, if you want to call it that. Yeah, the whole- I grow up on his Bible. Anywho. So I get to the bottom of the page and it reads, On the surface, blackness asserts the cultural superiority of the English over non-European peoples and celebrates the patriarchal power of James, the son king of Britain, who can turn black skin to white. But in this and other Queen's mask, a subversive current is evident. Johnson tells us it was at Her Majesty's will. But hang on a minute. St. James is Yakub, is Jacob, as in Jacob and Esau, as in stole the birthright. I said, hang on. You look but is it, is it, but <laughs> I said, isn't, isn't James and John brothers? In the Bible, in the Christian Bible, it says that James and John are brothers. They're also a part of the disciples. No, I'm just, I just would like to say, you Christians, which I have been a part of, 
because my granddad was a bishop and Christianity was my whole life, whether I liked it or not. You say that you read the infallible word of God. And I've been asking you for a long time, for many years, for decades, which God? Please. And every time I chat, people look at me like I'm stupid. And then you have, you take the King James Bible to worship in the devil house 